Hey everyone, David here from multitool.org. Today we're taking a look at something special. Uh, there is a gentleman by the name of Rob uh, who is starting a new company called Sanctum. Um, this product here is the first um, for his business. Um, Sanctum uh, is, is going to be based out of uh, Canada. Um, this is a prototype for a new tool he's calling the hard bar. Um, the hard bar is a pry bar is a pry bar that has a neat little feature built into it. Initially it just looks like a ordinary pry bar but it hides a little secret it holds a small fixed blade in the handle the prototype here um, is a titanium pry bar uh, that has an overall length of 5.28 inches um, comes in at a weight of 2.57 ounces or 73 grams. Uh, the current uh, knife steel is D2, but the the final one will be 14C20AN. Um, the I'll just let you guys take a look. It has a little bottle opener. Built in the top of the knife blade. It's a sheep's foot style blade, but a jimping right there, a little dib right there for your finger to get a good grip on it. Um, also, some more texturing on the underneath for your fingers to get a good grip. A little on the back side to dig into the meat of your palm. Definitely a good purchase not being able to slip during use even though it's a really small blade um, the the work on the pry bar itself that is a thick pry bar he didn't give me dimensions for thickness here but that is a thick guy you know what we we might as well figure out what that is hang on i'm gonna get a tape measure all right, so it looks like it's just under a quarter inch thick. That is a thick piece of titanium. The little yellow bit that you see there, that is an insert that's made out of Ultum. Ultum or PEI, if you guys have been buying any import knives, uh, kind of a generic um, version of Ultum. Uh, but the, the Ultum has a little bit of a pop, helps... Uh, the Ultim, along with this little spring bit here and the frame, allows it to catch and lock up under that Ultim, keeping things tight. There's no, there's no wiggle, except I mean, unless you intentionally move it, but like moving, it's very minimal. Um, little spot where if you want to attach it to a lanyard here, got a little integral pocket clip. Definitely really interesting. The 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 way that the opening is here on the end, I don't see where he's milled it as such, but it almost gives the impression that it could be used as a bottle opener. I wonder if he has plans to change that slightly. But it's for its its thickness because it's hollowed out, it's extremely lightweight. I could see this being a pretty Heavy duty, heavy duty use pry bar. It's got a good angle on it for for uh, using as a pry bar. Nice angle. But I've never seen a pry bar with an integrated knife into it yet. So that's definitely interesting. He he he. Uh, Rob has all these little tricks that he shows on his Instagram where he's able to pop this out and he has it so it pops up there and he catches it which is a pretty neat trick um, I'm going to carry this for a few days and give it a, a test in some real world, real world scenarios but I figured I would let you guys 
get a first look. Um, uh, he is going to be announcing the Kickstarter page shortly. Um, he doesn't have a, a date set in stone yet. He kind of has one for the end of the month, but that's tentative depending on how things go. But um, he's sending around um, these to a few people to allow people to get a first look at his new hard bar. So um, I will be sure to post a link to his website, including some other information. There's a first look at the Sanctum brand hard bar.